Over 230 people made their way to the Fellowship Bible Church today, but they weren't going to worship. Instead, they were training to work through this upcoming primary election. I got the chance to talk to some people at the training who tell me why they believe it's their civic duty. In a few weeks, the polls will be looking like this. But before these people get to work, they have to learn the ropes. Today, 233 election workers attended a three-hour class where they learned about the machines and how they work, poll book usage, and following 600 different voting laws. How you, uh, as an election worker, make sure you follow the statute, you follow the provisional processes that the law requires, make sure voters are taken care of, you don't deny a voter a ballot, those kinds of basic things. This training is nothing new for one election worker. She's done it for the last 12 years and says she's only missed a couple in that span. I just continue to do that. Uh, even if you think, oh, I should quit or I'm not, you just want to do it. Uh, it's important, of course, and it's good to know that there's people doing it because I know they always need help. For others, they say it's their responsibility as a citizen that keeps them coming back. Well, it's not for the pay, but it's for um, just to help do my civic duty and um, support my country in any way I can. While there was a big turnout today, Howell says they're still looking for more workers. We think we're getting close to the number we need for this election, but we really are still encouraging people to sign up. I need at least 200 more people for November, and we may still have a little bit of need yet if we end up having some drops at the last minute. Howell tells me that they're looking to hit 550 to 600 election workers, and he says to hit that number, they'll probably have another four to five classes for the primary. If you'd like to sign up to be an election worker, you can go to the Shawnee County Election Office. We also have a link on our website, fox43topeka.com. Tonight is the deadline. If you plan to vote in this year's state primary, Kansans have until midnight tonight to register and update your information. And you can register online on the Kansas Secretary of State's website. And now here are some important dates that you need to know leading up to the election day. Tomorrow is the first day of advanced voting, but varies by county. If you live in Shawnee County, that starts next Monday, the 22nd. Your last day to apply for an advanced voting mail ballot is on July 30th. And in-person advanced voting runs until August 5th at noon. <laughs>